I'm Gail Dines. I'm a professor of sociology and women's studies at Wheelock College. I'm also the founding president of the NGO Culture Reframed. And basically, we define pornography as the public health crisis of the digital age. And I have been fighting against the porn industry for at least 25 years. At any time. What, what does the average porn consumer not know? I would say the average porn consumer doesn't understand what goes into make it's like don't look at the sausage because you'll never eat it the average porn consumer does not understand that porn in its production is violence against women that the women last for about three months and are often then thrown out because their bodies simply cannot tolerate the violence what they don't know is that most women are in there because they've got few choices and would rather be anywhere else but on that porn set and that pornography is really prostitution with the camera going and we need to think of it as a form of sexual exploitation are young, you've got all these older predators around you which know exactly how to push your buttons in order to do that. So I think it's interesting telling that story. Um, most of the material that's made by the adult industry is far from violent. And when you look at peer-reviewed studies, what you find is that in the top rented watch movies, 90% of scenes have violence against women in them. And these are academic peer reviewed studies. So what you're saying is completely not borne out by the research, but by the porn. Oh, social, the Supreme Court are not social scientists, okay? And when you want to look at harm, you don't go to the Supreme Court. You go to the literature, and what you do is you look at the 40 years of empirical studies by sociologists, by psychologists, by media experts, and the jury is absolutely back in. There is no discussion anymore in the academic world. Pornography shapes the way men think about women. It changes the way they think about rape. It changes the way they think about their own masculinity. It encourages violence against women. It causes erectile dysfunction. It causes a whole array of things. And we all know that. The porn industry, by the way, they're liars. That's their job. They're an industry. They're a predatory industry. Their job is to give you their PR. Yeah, so then why the, don't you the stop point, access for the, under 18s? The why point, then the are you fighting being, that? The point being is that we live I mean, oh, what, that's he, not what he's going to say is all from the porn industry. Let me tell you what we do know. The porn industry is targeting those boys because the earlier they get them, the more likely they are to become habitual users. So all of what you're saying is PR for the industry, which is your job as a porn person. I get that. But my job as an academic is to point out what the research says. If somebody is Wait. actually being harmed, it is not legal. And there are plenty of laws that can be used. you're going to have to close the entire used. industry and down if that's the, the case because no, women are being harmed throughout if you, the making if you try of, to of the just, industry. That's what I was going to say. It's not. So what we could do now is you could name him and everyone can email him and start telling him to get her picture I off because she doesn't want anymore. No, I so why don't we help anymore. you? You've got a great audience here. Everyone should start, tell, tell the name oh, if you'd like that. people to email him and get it off so we can start a boycott of him. Well, you're that, a lawyer. That, Work that for her be, pro bono, Nadine, and get it off. She doesn't I, I, want I it on the website. Really so why doesn't Nadine take and the case and get this off the site? I think it's a really good case. He was, at one point, one of the biggest agents in the business. So I'm not under contract anymore. So come on, you lawyers. Let's go after him and get your picture off of, the website. And a lot of respected, but also collective bargaining agreements where the, the, the power of the group... The industry is not group. going into collective... I mean, what kind of a world do you live in, Nadine? What kind of world These do are you young live women. in? I know, I live in the world that Rachel's talking about and exactly what happened to you. What? I meet women after women who went into this industry, thought they were going through consent. They're young. You don't know. You're up against basically predators who use you and know how to manipulate you. This idea that you are actually consenting is a ludicrous you universe. That, that you have with a law degree as an older woman. I think that is such an insult to say that 100%. I didn't say 100%. Of, uh, I didn't okay. say 100%. So you say the majority. No, I'm not. Go over and get themselves killed in Afghanistan. They're mature enough to do that, but women are not mature enough to make a decision no, that no they would like to have sex on camera. I, I don't, I, that's not the issue we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's absolutely not the issue that we're talking about. That's that's fighting for our country, but this is porn. Why so, you let talk? Yeah, so like, could could anyone else? Like, and you don't literally how? have to. If you no. know nothing else yes. about the Constitution, but there is something from called the law the professor who's got tenure. Which this is different. A young woman. Hold on. Laws hold on. Indentured. Fig that. Let me finish. Let her finish. Most, Let Rachel finish. finish. She just restore it, please. Most make, Rachel, most we don't not. want to yeah. hear from you. We want to hear from Rachel. Please go on. So, a camera like that, a camera like that, a guy like this. And uh, maybe some random girl, then you feel uncomfortable. They, you feel they use that to make me. And 
be if you had seen, what they wanted me to be. If you had seen this movie before you went into the industry, would you have not? Would you have to not? completely and disavow the reality the, of the young I think woman that's in an pornography service and every good that the movie agent is doing? Tell me, right? yeah, okay. Every good agent and that you know. They will, how many they good agents do you no know? Problem with the girl so, Rachel, you met all these good agents, did you? Of course they don't exist. Let's talk about the analogy that you used earlier. Because Why do they actually get off on that level of violence? What happens in the porn is the more degraded and the more debased, and you probably have this experience, the hotter the sizzle of porn. So what I would like to know is let's take the focus off why women get into porn. That's not rocket science. You needed the money. And let's ask what is wrong with men that they have made this a multi-billion dollar a year industry and that they support an industry that exploits women, chews them out, spits them out, and nobody asks why are you doing this? Why are you encoding this virus into your sexuality? What kind of men are you going to be? What kind of fathers are you going to be? What kind of teachers are you going to be? What kind of partners are you going to be? These are massive cultural questions that need to get asked about bringing up a generation of boys on hardcore pornography. And there are opposite <laughs> answers to every, every single point is... As a typical man prefers and is more stimulated by images of women who are joyfully, enthusiastically, voluntarily your participating in the gospel either. I'm talking about the meta studies now. I'm and I am as I'm, well, Gail, Can as I just you finish? Well I can find you studies now that says there's no such thing as global you can warming. Find studies That's junk that say science. Anything. But let me talk about the weight of the evidence. In social science, you don't cherry pick a study here or there that basically supports what you say. You go with what the weight of the evidence is. And I don't know what studies you're looking at, but I have yes, basically just yes, written a book on the weight of the evidence, and I am telling you what men want of violent, violent, debasing, dehumanizing pornography. If they didn't, then Rachel would not have this story to tell. Well, you, what were you we, asked to do, Rachel? We can't, I asked you, Rachel, you not you. You can't characterize a huge industry one by one. I'm asking Rachel, person. not you, Rachel. I could bring I'm 500 actresses in Rachel. hearings about mm -hmm. porn. Yeah, you're such a Gale, bunch of nice guys, Gale, you know. Gail claims that 90% of porn has violence. I don't violence. claim it. I don't this claim it. It's crap. in a study in okay. the journal Violence when they Against say Women by Anna Bridget. You're, you're either, either lying or you're out of touch with the kind of pornography that young men are watching right now. You're lying. You're lying. We're going to have protection. As is prostitution. It is actually paid rape. Don't we have to acknowledge that porn is here to stay? I mean, it's not really going anywhere. We didn't have to acknowledge that slavery was here to stay. We can argue that an industry that is built on the exploitation of women should not be here to stay. It is an illegitimate industry. They're it is bad for the court. And I don't think it should be here to stay. Isn't the best solution for now to try to create no, some regulation? I don't. First of all, the porn industry fights every single bit of regulation. Measure B in LA, which was trying to get condoms, which was to protect the workers, they have fought tooth and nail against it. Because Man, we Mind have an Geek, and let me finish, Mind program. Geek, which is the biggest single distributor of a pornography was giving was sending money from Luxembourg to LA to fight Measure B. So they fight it tooth and nail. You cannot regulate this industry. It is a predatory industry. It is bankrupt to its core, and it should be gotten rid of and wiped off the face of this earth. Yeah, but yeah. genital herpes is not the same as a cold sore on your lip. So you and can. And it's also something that condoms don't protect you from. Of course, the condoms protect you from a whole range of diseases. Course, they can't protect you from 100 percent, but it's way better. Did you ever? Did, the did they use condoms? Isn't in the there film? a law that you had to use condoms now in California? Yeah, yes. Okay. Now yeah, I never be. saw one condom on any set, and I'm pretty sure you're, you're supposed to have a permit to shoot your porn, and no one ever had a permit. So that's why everyone's going to Vegas now, so they can do freely what they want and use whatever the fuck they want. Like it doesn't even matter. A lot of women enjoy porn, so I wanted to know what you make of the more feminist porn movement that's happening right now. I used to work for Cosmopolitan, and I know. <laughs> it's Cosmopolitan to feminist porn. <laughs> Cosmopolitan is a feminist magazine. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. Right, porn that men look at is the gonzo. Is it important to make that distinction that not all porn is bad but porn? It's a tiny, yes. But if you look at the economics of the porn industry, it's not even a bleep in the economic map. The average map. guy well, is not looking at violent you know porn. know full well they are. This is I such a joke. Like there has not been one single HIV transmission on a porn set. Oh, yeah, and that's why they've the closed it down five times in the last the two years. And the statistics, but guess what? You have less chance of getting a, a, an STD on a porn set than oh you do God, picking up somebody at a bar. This is a joke. This is like laughable. Oh, if you, well, you know what to do. Don't ask me. Go home, put in porn into Google. You'll come up with about nine of the top porn sites that are owned by the same company, MindGeek. 
Go and have a walk through. Don't, don't even take it from me. Really, have a walk through and then email me, gaildimes.com, and you tell me, okay? And in fact, we, what we could do is put it up there on my group, Culture Reframed, to show you that this is not us exaggerating. This is him lying and us telling the truth. Though, because it's stigmatizing a particular kind of speech and putting a burden. How many of you would want to say, Oh, God, I picking up the phone porn. to say, I want porn. But That's terrible. Uh, the, this man who has no contact with it. Well, that's he's why got, you're a shill of the industry. Yeah, that's he's got you're a shill. You're nothing else. Guys, but also collective bargaining agreements where the, the, the power of the group... The industry is not going into collective... I mean, what kind of a world do you live in, Nadine? What kind of world These do you live in?